Oh yeah. That's what you like to see when crappy fishing. What's going on guys, Brooks Clearwater Crappy. Today we're talking about side imaging for crappy. Uh, I have had several people ask me about how I have my graph set up to see those fish. Y'all saw my dock shooting video. I'm gonna talk about just side imaging for crappy. Now I set my graph up different for crappy than I do any other species because it's a smaller scale. But side image of crappy, just found a dock, never fished before, got a good size crappy on it. I'm gonna throw him back and let's get to the graph, guys. All right, guys. So we're out here um, next to a dock that's close to the river channel. I'm gonna show you now what the crappy look like. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. It is January 23rd. Um, slept in this morning because I was calling for some freezing rain. It's pretty cold. I think the high's gonna be about 36 today. Let's get to this graph right here. And we're uh, this is a great day to do this because there are so many fish, so much bait in this river channel right now. Huh. There goes some brush right there. <clears throat> it's actually got some fish on it. But we're concerned with this dock and these fish in this dock. <laughs> All right, now. I'm using my trolling motor. I have my chart speed set on three. I found it is gonna show up the clearest possible picture for these older hummingbirds set on three using your trolling motor. Some people you say use two or one. I found the fish show up better on three. So chart speed set on three, side and drain set on 55, sensitivity set on 10. Just a basic startup right here. There's the dock with the boat lift in it. <clears throat> I'm riding about six feet away from the dock right here. There's the fish. <clears throat> they are directly under that boat lift right there Dead giveaway. That's fish. There's a shadow that is off the bottom Those fish are not connected to that shadow that lets me know they're up in the water column These fish if they were on the bottom Those fish would be connected to those shadows. So since I rode by closer it shows up in this what I call the void right here I know some of you said I can't see fish that shows up in that black area that's distinct like that well, the reason why is I rode by that dock really close. Now we're gonna ride by it further away and show you what those same fish look like further away. All right, we're about to make our second pass by this dock. We're gonna go a little further out this time to show you how different these fish are gonna look. <clears throat> a little tip. I'm using blue, the color blue, the reason why it's cloudy. On a bright, sunshiny, clear day, I'm gonna use like an amber color. You change it by going to menu, scrolling down, side them into colors, Amber, amber one, amber two. These amber colors I use during the sunshiny days. Blue color. Now I'm gonna increase my length right here because I'm a little bit further away from the dock now. So length or range, oh, let's do 65. Let's see what it looks like. Turn troll motor on, chart speed still set at three. So I'm probably three times the distance away. All right, right here. You have to ride by a dock you see fish on several times before you actually show up the fish or actually can see the fish. The only way I know there's fish right here is that shadow right there. I do not see the fish no more in this void right here because I'm further away from the dock. My side engine t still tells me though there's something under that dock that I need to investigate. So at this point, if I ride by a dock further away or a piece of structure further away and I see a shadow, I probably need to go closer to, to, to show that distinction of those fish right here. Now, this is a good example over here to my left. This is crappy in this channel. See this white right here? That means that the bank is going up or in or decreasing in depth. This dark area right here means it's going getting deeper or increasing in depth. I can still see these fish shadows out here. There's those fish right there. And it's all about how close you are to the fisher structure. We got bait and probably some fish over here to our right. So, that shows you right there, two different times I rode by the same dock with the same fish on it. One showed fish in that black void, where it's very distinct. One, I was further away, but I could still see there's fish in there because of them shadows. Now, if them fish were on the bottom, next to those shadows, you would see a white cloud. You'd probably see something, uh, I really can't see nothing on the bottom yet. But these are fish and clearly showing shadows right here, chasing bait right here. Hybrid, stripers, crappy, who knows. I haven't fished for them yet. I've just fished for those ones on that dock. But that's just a good tip right there of how far away you are from the dock and how different it can show up. 
there's probably a hundred fish under that dock, but when I rode by it close, you saw them pop out at you. You could see the fish under the dock. You ride by it further away, and all you see is a shadow. But you have to use the just the minor details to maybe investigate more to make it show up clear. Right here, this is what I'm talking about right here. These are fish on the bottom right here, way out in the channel right here. These are fish high in the water column right below my boat. I know they're right below my boat because I can switch to my 2D and see those fish below my boat. I'm not showing on 2D right here. <clears throat> I can't see those fish. All I'm seeing is these fish right below the boat right here. Those fish right there. That's all I'm showing. I'm not showing these fish or bait or whatever this is way out here in this channel. See how it got darker? I entered the channel with both sides of my graph now. But I see this bait right here out in the channel. And if you're a long liner, that can help you right there. If you see bait in the channel, oh, let's go long liner over there. There's probably fish up under there. So you have to use the small details to move your transducer closer to those fish to show up the fish better. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the exact settings I had on my graph when we rode by that dock twice to show you like how it's the clearest possible picture with these older hummingbirds. The hummingbird unit I have is a 998C HD with side imaging, also has down imaging on it. All right, the settings. So all you do is hit menu one time. Now we're just in the basic side imaging menu. The settings I'm currently using, the sensitivity is at 10. The side imaging range is at 65, but that changes how far or how close I am to a dock. So back to menu, the chart speed I use, again, three, the color blue. Now, if we wanna go further into my settings, we go to side engine enhance. One time to the right, it's gonna bring up this little bitty menu down here. Sensitivity, contrast, sharpness, contour mode. I set that contrast at 14. Woo, look at them fish. I need to be fishing. <clears throat> my contrast, this is gonna be good to show why these fish are out here with these shadows. My contrast, as you decrease that contrast, everything gets a little bit darker fish show up a little bit brighter still see the shadows but i try to get a happy medium where i can see them fish and them shadows so if i had them set at 10 14 14 i see the best shows up the most shadows but i can still see them fishing where they're at so that's the basic 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 sentence i have for my graph and showing these crappy under docks all right, now I'm gonna talk about when I look in a new creek, say I've never been in this creek before, um, how, what I set my graph to to find crappy in a new creek. This is gonna take time to learn. <clears throat> Sorry, been sick. This is gonna take time to learn. I set my width or range, 75. The reason why I set it at 75, I have found you can still see shadows at 75 and still interpret if there's crappy fish bait or whatever out there if you have it set at 75 just take your trolling motor or idle with your uh big motor down a creek or up under some docks or just look for different things and like i said the minor details what you're going to see is going to it's going to make you investigate more what you see on your graph and let's see just give you a little example right here here's a fish to my left it looks like a pretty big fish right here. There's another fish to my left. Don't look like much. There's another fish. It doesn't look like anything at all, but that right there, that is different than what's on the bottom. That dark bottom, that's that river channel right there. I'm showing something different over here. I'm not showing anything over here. No shadows, no fish, no nothing. There's a shadow right there. But right here, if I'm <clears throat> investigating a new creek and I wanna see what this is, mark a waypoint. Drag your waypoint over here to where these fish are at, or structure, or whatever it is. There's that big fish right there. Probably a catfish. Hit mark. And now the waypoint is created. Now, when I go to my map, there's my waypoint over here that I just made. So when I go to my map, I can turn back around and go to that. And if it was a piece of structure, more than likely my down imaging or my 2D will show up on it. But since we're on side imaging, since we're on side imaging, We'll go back and you can zoom in and kind of kind of pinpoint or not pinpoint but see better what it is hit the zoom key one time there it is this looks like maybe two or three fish right there grouped up together to me that's what that looks like 
could be wrong but if i was a fisherman in a new creek i would investigate this or if it was a tree i'd investigate that if it was a piece of brush i'd investigate it you just have to use these small details on your graph to help you find what you're looking for a little bonus uh part of this video we're gonna do a jig review um super nice jigs oh man i'm a sucker for a chartreuse tail a chartreuse head and a purple body long pine creek tackle randolph nebraska a guy named luke andrews sent me these jigs uh check him out on facebook long pine creek tackle or uh i think his website's long long pine creek tackle.com um super cool guy to work with like i said his name's luke andrew uh, sent me these jigs and we're gonna try a couple of these out today on a couple docks and a couple parts of pieces of brush uh, but Super super cool jigs got that glitter in it We're gonna cut, tie a couple of these on a couple different jigs and uh, see what we can't catch right here. All right guys Here we go first cast with the uh, Long Pine Creek tackles new jig Thank you, Long Pine Creek Tackle. First cast. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Not lying. Sucked it in. It's pretty little crappy, too. He's about uh, 11 and a half, 12 inches. First cast with a new jig. Appreciate it, Luke. All right, guys. Oh, it's gotten cold. I had to put on my bibs and my sweatshirt and i'm just trying to stay warm out here i just found something really really cool i've never found this spot uh, i was looking in a new area because the water conditions has changed a little bit uh so i decided to look a little bit shallower maybe the water will be warmer um but this is what i was talking about right here <clears throat> when i find something that's not close to me but still very visible to make out i hope we can see this on camera guys looks good all right two cane piles shadows look above it that's a dock beside those cane piles. I can't necessarily see those fish, but oh, I see their shadows. I know there's fish up under. You can see just a little bit of them. But this right here, I'm trained, you know, my eye is trained to look for crappy on side imaging. I saw just one little cane pile leaf sticking out of the water, so I rode by it with my side imaging next to the dock. <clears throat> there's a the crappy. That's what it looks like right there when I'm not close to it and they're not in this black void right here. My settings haven't changed any from earlier in the video. So I'm gonna give these docks a shot, see if I can't pull the slab out of here. Here we go. <laughs> right. So I've been fishing deep water all morning, but like I said, I wanted to find a little bit different water. Never fished this dock before, and I showed you on the camera on the side image and the brush and the fish. It's the first time I've seen them. That is cool. That is what I love right there. Awesome. So for you long lining guys that like long lining these creeks in the winter time, this is a perfect example of side image and helping me find crappy in these creek channels. There's shadows in the creek channels with fish on them. White dots, shadows behind them. Those are crappy in the creek channel. If you was a long liner, long line through this creek right here, right where these shadows and fish are sitting. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up here at Clearwater Crappy for today for part one of side imaging. I uh, hope y'all got something out of it, learned a little bit of something. Uh, if I didn't cover something, 
uh, that you used to have a question about, drop it in the comment box or email me at clearwatercrappy at gmail.com. I'll reply to everybody. I want to thank uh, Lone Pine Creek Tackle, Luke Andrew, for sending these jigs. The color today that I used to catch the fish I caught today was Sour Grape. This is called a Grove Glitz Jig, 16th ounce. Looks really, really good. Check them out on Facebook and LongPineCreekTackle.com. He's got a store in there. You can order these jigs. So appreciate again for sending the jigs. Well, next week, we're probably going to do a long line video. Found a lot of fish in the creek channels today and on shallower docks. I let some know they're getting ready for pre spawn and we'll catch some big ones long lining. We'll probably do that with AJ's boat. I don't long line out of this boat, uh, as you can see, obvious reasons, but he's got a really cool long line setup that we'll do. And he'll go in more detail about how to long line, the speeds, all that kind of stuff right there. But like I said, again, if you got more questions, email me or drop it in the comment box. If you want to see more, subscribe because it's coming out next week, that long line video. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all next time.